Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. There's a shower in front of me. It's uh, Agua 3000 or Aqua 3000 made by Galaxy Showers. And there's a washing machine in the background that'll make some noise, so excuse that. There it is. Made by Glenn Dimplex. It's very similar, almost identical inside to a Galaxy Mystique that I did a video of recently. And in the Mystique, I didn't really finish up looking inside here to show how the pressure switch works. So, the water comes in here cold. There's a solenoid valve here. I've taken most of the screws out to make this easier. The solenoid valve here is actuated when you turn it on. There's a button or something here, yeah, a button. Turns on the solenoid valve, lets water in. Once water is allowed in, it comes up through this flow regulator, but has a side chute here, going up through this white pipe to here. And inside here, there's a diaphragm, and we'll have a look at that. The water pressure lifts against the spring, lifts the diaphragm, so that when you turn the selector around, See at the moment, there's two micro switches here and at the moment, if you can see, we can't, I'm going to have to take out the boiler and I think then it'll all become apparent, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it'll all become apparent. Maybe I should describe this first though. These micro switches turn on the element. So basically what this does is, without water pressure here, you can't have electricity to the element. Which is very sensible. Very simple and very clever and all that other stuff. It's a good design, I reckon. Let's get this one off as well. I'm hoping this should just lift out. Yeah. You just enjoy the soothing sounds of the washing machine in the background. Just take your mind off whatever it is you were trying to avoid by watching this video. And I will get this one off this way. I'm not worried about this, I'm scrapping this shower out, but I do like to understand things whenever I'm scrapping them. So that if I ever get called to repair something, which comes up from time to time. If you ever get called to repair something, I know what I'm doing kind of a bit in advance. That's where videos like this on this platform, this little bit of the internet, are very, very helpful. Okay. And cut that off as well. There we go. Now we can have a look in here, hopefully. So these black cables just turn on the neon indicators, uh, perhaps for low pressure. I don't know if they do low pressure or what. I haven't got the front of it with me. And this one here, that just goes to this switch here. So if I unscrew that, it'll help a little bit more as well, maybe. It should allow us to see what we're talking about in here. Okay, and if this one would come away, then we'd be able to see everything. Right, yeah, so that's the hose, or the pipe, and that's just got an o-ring there. Oh, that's got grease all over my hand. Right, clean that off. So, water pressure comes in, and you can see this spring here. And you can see underneath the micro switch, there's little black switch levers or something, whatever you'd call them. So, how am I going to do this then? If you turn this knob, you would choose uh, two or one. So this, this uh, have a look at these from here. These little ramps are wide enough to take two micro switches for both elements, one micro switch for one element. But you can see at the moment, they don't lift up. Now, I think if I'm very careful, and I get a bicycle pump up on the bench, and I put that bicycle pump over here, hopefully. You know, I'm making this look easy, am not I? And if the washing wash machine wasn't on in the background, you might be able to hear this clicking. So let's put that like that. Let's try and get this so you can see it. Now, pay attention in here to this ramp. It works really well. So that's what that's just air pressure from a bicycle pump. You can see the whole switch moves up. 
it's under pressure it's not so by turning on the solenoid you let that water pressure in and it turns the switch on really is pretty cool you can hear the micro switches clicking on and off there now so just to get in here I think I need to go in this way and click these out Remember now, I think these, that's it. That, they click out and that lets this come up, I think, does it? Not yet, do I have to click this out as well? What are you getting stuck on there, buddy? Someone's eye gone. So that's the spring that resists the pressure. This is just the thing that locks in place. And then this is the ramp that rises up and down against that spring. And it does that because in here, there's a little diaphragm. So if I get the pump back on again, we won't be able to see it going up and down. If I can. Just in here, in the center, there's four little levers. Oops. You see them going up and down? Down, up, down, up. Down, up. And that's it. And they push that thing up, and that... That lets the, um... Electricity... That lets the electricity flow to the element. You can't take that out without taking out the cover on it. And there's grease on all those things, like a waterproof grease. And then here, it's holding this one on. Another screw, is it? Another screw in behind those micro switches. To get them out, you just pop it off like that. There's one more screw in there. And they're just a little switch that joins up these two contacts. Micro switches. Hopefully, that helped you understand how these things work. How the pressure switch activates the electricity. Questions or comments, leave it below. Thanks for watching. See you later.